Hey boxing fans, Marcos Villegas here with a very special guest here in Manhattan Beach at the Marriott, Miss Mia St. John, where you were awarded a, a very special honor by the uh, WBC. You know, Mia, of course, you're one of their world champions. Talk to me about the award you got here today. Well, I was telling Israel, um, are we old enough to be called legends? <laughs> but, you know, of course, it's, it's such an honor. It's such an honor. I love the WBC. It's my favorite sanctioning body. And... They've been so good to me over the years, and it was it was really nice to be here and see Top Rank, my old promoter Bob Arum. Um, but it's just you know it's kind of sad like to see like the years that have passed, and it, it was a, an amazing career, of course. You still look great, so I wouldn't worry about uh, on that part. Oh well, <laughs> You're thank still in you. Shape and all that. Thank you. Well, of course, you know I just had my last fight in May, yeah. um, so it hasn't been um, that many months, but. Um, you know, it, it's it, it's always hard, I think, for any fighter to retire, as you've seen over the years. It's rarely do the champions and their careers on top, you know, and there's a reason for that. Um, of course, I always said that's never going to be me. <laughs> you know, I'm going to retire long before, you know, I start going downhill. But no, that never happens. Everybody, everybody's got to go through it. And so uh, it's just something that, that I think we have to accept and... You know, getting awards like this just reminds me that, you know, we did a lot for the sport, we did enough, and and it's it's okay to move on. You know, looking at just the whole scene, and of course you were one of the pioneers for women's boxing, but we're also seeing an explosion in women's MMA as well. I wanted to get your thoughts on that explosion. Well, I think it's great. You know, I had, I did have an MMA fight back in 2007 in Hawaii and I knocked her out in 50 seconds something like that but you know I decided it wasn't the sport for me and I went back to boxing and but I you know I mean I, I think it's great um, you know MMA is it's obviously a much safer sport because um, you're not going 12 rounds I think the maximum you're going is five rounds um, and the gloves are much smaller um, so there's less brain damage as well as you're spending a lot of time on the ground, a lot of time kicking. Um, so you don't see as much brain damage uh, that you do in boxing. So obviously it's a, it's a, it's a safer sport. Um, the wounds are more superficial rather than internal. So I like that part about it. And, and I think it's more exciting for the fans. Um, even though I prefer to see a long strategic fight, you know, I like Mayweather. A lot of fans just want to see quick knockouts. So. Well, you got one when you're using those smaller gloves. That must have been like a joy to be able to hit somebody with small gloves, no? Um, you know, it's it's not as. Um, uh, it, it, I think it's much more dangerous to hit someone with with uh, boxing gloves, only because with the smaller gloves being so small, you're at risk for um, breaking a hand. And so it kind of stops you from putting your entire body weight into it. Um, so I, I, I still have to say that I think it, it, it's safer, the smaller gloves, than, than the boxing gloves. Like I mentioned, you were a trailblazer for just women in general in sports, and you're seeing another one in Ronda Rousey. What are your thoughts on her? I think she's great for the sport. You know, she's beautiful. Um, she's charismatic. Um, she's exciting. I think it, it, she's she's a great example. You know, looking at Rhonda, she's done a lot of things uh, media-wise. Uh, you're seeing her a lot more in magazines. Uh, you did Playboy, and I know you got a lot of attention for that. They're kind of pushing her to do that. So I guess what advice would you give not only her but women athletes that when they get an opportunity like that to kind of take into account? Well, you know, there's a lot of, I'm not obviously the only athlete, female athlete that posts for Playboy. Um, you know, I think that it's up to the individual. Um, you know, if they offer you what you feel it's worth, um, is all, of course, first and foremost. And because, you know, you have to remember this is a business, this is our career, and, and you have to see what you can get out of it. And if it's enough, um, and, you know, coming from... A Mexican family, you know, nudity obviously wasn't, it's not as big of a deal as it is, I think, in the United States. So my mother was like, go for it. Um, but yeah, I think it's up to the, the individual. 
No, uh, I know you're still active. You guys should spar. You should try to hook up Ronda if you're watching this right here sparring. <laughs> you know what? I know. I, people ask me if I'd ever go back into MMA, and I tell them, honestly, now, if I go down, I am not getting up. <laughs> like, there is no way I will be able to get up. <laughs> Mia, thank you very much. Certainly appreciate it, and congratulations on the medal and everything you've done as well. Here with Mia St. John, Marcos Viegas for Fight Up TV.